So, everyone, you are not lost. You are here. And this is 2019. This is where the fun begins. Because a lot of you are probably familiar with the movie Rubber. It's very popular in the meme, shitpost, uh, weird humor community. Like, it's a movie about a tire that comes to life and starts murdering people. It's pretty great. But before that, uh, there was Steak. Uh, it's uh, the first, actually, feature-length movie by the same director uh, and writer, uh, and I, which is also the editor, Quentin Dupieux, French genius. And, uh, yeah, before he made Rubber, he had made the movie Steak which basically uh, is around uh, a group of cool kids and it's set like in the future, like 10 years in the future, something like that and all the cool kids uh, have, have their face like remodeled, like the plastic surgery to, to change their face and uh, if, uh, if, if people don't, you know, do plastic surgery on their faces, like they're not cool and uh, well, um, that's the gist of it. I mean, there's more to it, of course, but that's the, the aspect of the movie I want to talk about because it basically became something of a reality. I'm just going to let you marvel at the front page of the latest uh, New York magazine or whatever. It's um, It sure is something. I thought it was fake at first. Well, to be fair, the first time I saw the cover, it was edited and the face of the model was replaced by Sam Hyde, so that did not help, but it's absolutely fucking real. It sure is uh, something. Uh, like, they're referencing the Chad meme, which of course the same meme that I choose to uh, use as my brand. <laughs> which is kind of flattering to see finally some recognition but yeah the, the article is so fucking weird it talks about like of course incels and their forums and uh, Elliot Roger the supreme gentleman and uh, it's just if you didn't know about who are incels and all that you could like see it as kind of tragic but uh, in reality, it's, it is so funny. <laughs> it's, I've linked the article in the description because it's it's really worth it. You know, it's really all the the like. It's kind of sad because a lot of these guys are, are obviously uh, afflicted by the, the, this thing called body dysmorphia disorder, uh, which is not nice. Uh, it's probably not fun to have. I, I, I don't, I don't know, it's hard to imagine what it's like to have this, but it's still funny. I, I don't care. I know it may be a, a little like schadenfreude, but I, 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 I cannot help but find this funny. Uh, and there's like this weird uh, surgeon called B Barry Apply or a name like this. Uh, who uh, makes all these uh, face transplants, like changes the, the jawline and you know, all that shit? And it's like really, it's like really weird and a creepy face. It looks like a fucked up uh, Dennis Reynolds. It kind of looks like the surgeon in the movie steak, actually. Uh, it's, just, <laughs> it's just hard to, it's hard for me to talk about this with a straight face because it's just. So I'm gonna do like I always do, I'm gonna do it with the gay face. Uh, <laughs> Actually, I've said it all. Uh, there's no need to go further, you can read the article if uh, you have the time. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny, but uh, like it's not really interesting or anything. And uh, yeah, apparently there's the, basically the same thing that's happening in France, so... Uh, Shivers! Shivers is the name of the cool kids in the, in the movie. They have it's like these uh, red jackets and they always drink small bottles of milk and they have a secret handshake in which they like bump their knees and, and it's, it's weird. 
It's uh, it's a great movie, uh, but it sounds like a comedy. It's not a comedy. It's very very tense uh, and tragic uh, drama with some funny elements, but globally is like uh, not the kind of thing that you would watch for a laugh. Uh, well, that, that's it. That's it. So no reason for the video to be 10 or 15 minutes. I can just stop there. I have said everything. It's uh, this year keeps delivering, and like if I do the same thing next year, like about 15 stories from 2019 that you might have missed, it's gonna be like it's gonna be a roller coaster of. Uh, Every, every possible emotion on the human spectrum and even, even like new ones that we didn't know existed. Thanks for watching. Thanks especially for my patrons on Patreon and all the people who donate. And uh, also keep in mind that I have a merch store with a lot of cool designs. T-shirts, mugs, beach towels, phone cases, stickers. Everything is there, uh, a lot of different colors, some shirts with rats on it, and uh, yeah, lots of cool stuff. Check this out, link is in the description, of course. And yeah, to conclude, as usual, I, I wish on you peace, good health, and don't forget to smash that motherfucking like button! See ya!